Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on lesson on logic, which is basically using symbols to denote statements in a given set logic problem. Now the statement in set logic is a little bit different when it comes to describing or defining what a statement is. So statement in set logic has a different um, meaning as opposed to the statement that we usually use in an English class or in uh, language classes. So in this case, we define statement as sentences that is either true or false, but not both simultaneously. So it's either true statement or false statement, and that statement would fall under a statement in set logic. So we have here some examples of statements that's defined to be a valid statement in set logic, just like one, Beijing is the capital of China, two, London is the capital of China, and three, William Shakespeare wrote the television show Friends. Now, these three examples are called statements because one, we all know that Beijing is the capital of China and this is a true statement. And if it's a true statement, then that particular statement is a valid definition or um, example of a statement in set logic. And number two is also a valid statement in logic because this one is a false statement. We all know that London is not the capital of China because we already know that Beijing is the capital of China. So in working with statements in set logic, it's based on facts. And when it's based on facts, most likely it's going to be considered as a statement in set logic. And in number three, we have William Shakespeare wrote the television show Friends, which we know is a false statement because we don't know that William we know that William Shakespeare um, existed probably way before television was invented. So this is a definitely um, um, a false statement, and in that case. Number three is a valid statement in set logic because this is a false statement. So once again, for a statement to be a valid statement in set logic, it could either be true or false, but not both simultaneously. So what are some examples of statements that's not considered to be a valid statement in set logic? So I'm going to give you some counter examples of statements in set logics. For example, number one, Titanic is the greatest movie of all time. It's not a valid statement in set logic because for me, it may not be Titanic, which is the greatest movie of all time. For you, however, it may be true that Titanic is the greatest movie of all time. So it could be false in my opinion and it could be true in your opinion. And in that case, this particular statement is... A little bit vague so this is not factual that's why number one is not a valid statement number two which is read pages 23 to 45 is also not a valid statement in set logic because this one is basically a command or order that is given to someone so this is neither true or false which again it did not satisfy the definition of statement in set logic and for number three what is the capital of the Philippines is also not a statement in set logic because this particular statement is neither, I mean, it's not true or false in this particular case. Therefore, the three statements that you're seeing are not statements because number one, it is an opinion. Number two, it is a command. And number three, it is a question. So it's safe to say that if a sentence or if you think that the sentence is an opinion, a command, or a question, therefore, those statements or sentences is not considered as a valid statement in set logic. Now, another thing that you need to learn about set logic is the use of symbols or variables that we usually write in set logic. Now, in algebra, the variables that we usually use would be x, y, and z. And in trigonometry, the variables that we usually use is the Greek letters theta or alpha or beta. And in symbolic logic, most of the times, the variable that we're using would be the letter P, Q, R, and S. So these are the variables that we usually use to define a statement in a given problem. So an example of statements that we can use to denote a symbol would be Beijing is the capital of China, 
and William Shakespeare wrote the television show Friends. One is a true statement, um, two is a false statement, so both of them are a statement, and we can say that P, or the letter P, can represent Beijing is the capital of China, and letter Q can represent the second statement. So P is the first statement, and Q is the second statement in this particular examples. So instead of writing the statement over and over and over and over again, we can define it as, in, as a symbol given by P and Q at this particular example. So this is how we use these symbols to work on some operations involving set logic or statements. So one of which is negating a statement. So negating a statement is basically the negation of a true statement is a false statement and the negation of a false statement is a true statement. So if you want to uh, uh, change the meaning or change the value of a given statement from true to false or from false to true, you're going to negate it or use a negation symbol or operation for it to be a negation of a given statement. So for example, we have statements P and Q. We can negate this, these statements using this symbol and this symbol that you're seeing right now is the negation symbol that we use in set logic. And if we're going to use this to uh, change the value of your P statement into a not P statement, not P or negation of P can have a different value or meaning. So instead of using Beijing as the capital of China, not P will therefore be Beijing is not the capital of China. So notice that we just added the word not in the statements and making sure that it makes sense. We don't write not Beijing is the capital of China, but we're just going to plug in the value or the word not in the sentence for it to be the negation of P. So if number one or statement number one, which is P, or not P is Beijing is not the capital of China, statement number two or Q, which is denoted by not Q, will have a different value or meaning, and we can rewrite this as William Shakespeare did not write the television show Friends. So this is how we negate a certain statement using this operation and symbols. So let's say we have two other statements, which is P and Q, but this time P and Q are different. P is London is the capital of England and Q today is not Monday. So if we're going to express the following statements using symbols like number one, on number one, that statement that we're going to change symbolically would be London is not the capital of England. So if we're going to change this statement into a symbol, it could be the not P symbol because P is London is the capital of England. So since this statement is asking us to write London is not the capital of England symbolically, we'll use not P as our symbol. And for number two, it says there today is Monday. And we know that Q, as stated in the problem, Q is today is not Monday. So not Q is that today is Monday. So that would be the value or symbolic form of statement number two or statement Q in this particular problem. So this is how we use symbols and how we negate and how we verify if a statement is valid in set logic.